Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add new equipment slots to Survival Game Kit V2. So to get started we're going to search for the E underscore equipment and we want to open up equipment type. Um, I'll just bring this over here. Then we're going to click the add enumerator button and we're going to name this whatever you want your new slot to be. So for me I'm going to call it headset like that. Then after doing that we're just going to play an editor. Now you may get some errors pop up like I have here, that's fine. All you need to do is click cancel. If you didn't get these errors, that's also fine. You can just exit out of play and editor and we'll head to the next step, which is we'll go to the uh, equipment, sorry, character equipment. And we're gonna open up the BP character equipment widget. And in here, we're gonna start by duplicating one of the existing slots. So I'm just gonna use the glove slots. I'm gonna right click it, duplicate it you can see we've got our new slot here. Now you can spend as much time as you like organizing this and uh, choosing when your slots will be. But for me, I'm just gonna kind of put mine sort of here. And I can actually change, um, change it so it's on top of these two slots just by dragging this down to the bottom like that. You can see now it's on the top of those two slots. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this to um, the name of your slot. So mine is headset slot like that. And we've got some customization options here. You can choose the uh, icon here and then the background for when an item is actually equipped to the uh, slot. You can set the slot name. So you can see currently it says gloves. I'm gonna change mine to say head set. And you can see it actually updates the text here. Um, but the most important thing is our equipment slot type. You need to make sure that that's changed to your new slot type. So for me, that's head set. Once that's done, we can compile. And then we're gonna to go to the graph view, open up begin play, and on this make array node, we're gonna add a new PIM, and we're gonna grab our new slot that we just added. So that would be, for me, that's gonna be the headset slot. I'm just gonna drag that in here and connect that up to the make array. Then we'll compile and we can save. Next, we're gonna go back to the content browser and we're gonna open up the EXT character equipment widget. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna grab this glove slot. I'm going to uh, duplicate that or rename it quickly to head uh, headset slot like that. Um, I'm just going to move mine to sort of here like that. I'm just going to drag this down to the bottom um, so it's on top of the other slots. Then over here, I'm going to change the equipment slot type to headset and the slot name I'm going to rename to headset like that. Then we'll compile, go to the graph view begin play and then we're going to add a new pin to this make array node find our headset slot and plug that in here like that then we can compile and save this next we're going to go back to the content browser and we're going to search for the equipment inventory open that up and in here we're going to find our equipment slots so that's under variables and i'm just going to duplicate one of the existing ones so uh, we'll do the gloves uh, duplicate and then we're gonna rename this to our headset, headset uh, equipment slot. Now you may, uh, when you press enter to rename, you may or may not get this warning. If you do, just click yes. Then we're gonna compile. Then with our headset slot still selected, in the details panel here, we're gonna set it to replication none, then compile. Then set it back to rep notify, then compile. And you should see that it's created us a new function here on rep headset equipment slot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the gloves equipment slot, just copy all of the code in here and go to our new on rep function. So the on rep headset equipment slot, and we're just gonna paste those nodes in like that. And we need to make sure that we replace this variable here with our headset equipment slot. So we're just gonna delete that, grab our headset equipment slot and plug that into the equipment slot here and we can compile. Next, we're gonna select our headset equipment slot in the variable panel again, and go to default value, click this drop down here. You need to make sure that the equipment type is set to our new slots. That must be set to headset like that, Then we can compile. Next, in the My Blueprint panel, we're gonna search for select equipment slot, open that function. Then here, we just need to drag out from the headset pin that's on our select node and search for our headset equipment slot like that then we all compile 
Next, we're going to search for update equipment slot item. We'll open up that function. And we're going to just copy the nodes that are down here, copy and paste them like that. Then we're going to connect the headset pin from our switch node up to this pin here. Now we're going to replace the shoes equipment slot on this one. We're going to drag out from our inventory pin and we're going to do get uh, headset slot like that. And we'll plug that into the uh, struct ref pin. Then over here, we're going to drag out from the inventory pin again and do set headset equipment slot like that. Delete the shoes one. And then we can connect this up to our set members node like that. Then we'll compile. Then we're going to search for begin play, open up the begin play. And in here, you can see we've got another select node. So we just need to drag out from headset, search for get headset equipment slot and add that in there. Then we can compile. Now we can save this blueprint and we're going to go to the content browser again. And we're going to search for player inventory and open that up. And in here, we're going to go to class defaults. I'm going to search for head set. You'll see we've got our head slot equipment slot. And all we're doing is just checking to make sure that the equipment type in our player inventory is still set to headset. If yours isn't, just set it to it um, and then it will be fine. But if yours already is, then that's fine. Then we're going to go back to the content browser. We're going to search for SGK controller. Open that up. Select the player inventory component. And then again, in the details, search for head set. Open this up and you can see that our equipment type is actually set to none in here. So all we're going to do is select this little default button and that will set it to our headset value. So now we're ready to actually test this out. Uh, but first, we'll, we might need to fix some errors. Um, so what we'll do is hit play and see if we've got any. So I've still got two errors here that I'll fix now. If you don't have any errors, you don't need to worry about this step. But if you do, um, all we need to do is go in the content browser, search for cooking component. We'll open that up. Just going to compile it then we'll hit play and we can click open all errored blueprints and that's just going to open those two blueprints add errors i'm going to compile the first one and then compile the second one you can see that's the master crafting build part and this is the master cooking build part once we've compiled them you can see that the errors are gone so now we can hit play and you can see that our characters in game and we've got our new slot there as well next we need to set up an item that can actually go into our headset slot so for this, I'm just going to go to the item list and I'm going to change one of the included items to use that slot now. So I'm just going to open up the item list. I'm going to search for a backpack and I'm just going to change the mega backpack to use our new slot instead of its current one. So for that, we're going to go to the equipment details, then equipment slots. And you can see this is where we set what slot our backpack can actually go in. So right now it's set to backpack, but I'm just going to change it to headset. You can also add multiple slots that your item can be equipped to as well. Uh, but I'm just going to change mine to headset. We'll save that, hit play, and we'll run over and equip our backpack. So we'll equip it. You can see that our character does have it on, and it's gone to our new slot there as well. We can drop it out and re equip it, and it's uh, showing up where it should be. You can also uh, kill the character quickly. I'm just going to run over and loot the body. Just to make sure that our external is working as well we can drag this over equip that and everything is working as it should so that's pretty much it for this video um there is one other thing i wanted to mention um if you are having issues with say your player inventory um returning errors that i don't have in this video or possibly your equipment inventory having errors what you can do is you can go to the uh, character component open that up just compile it then go to the master inventory, open that up and compile it. And once that's done, you can try going to your player inventory, uh, sorry, your player equipment inventory and your player inventory and just compiling those. And that should get rid of any errors that you might have. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. And if you have any problems, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.